First and foremost, let me apologize for how I sound. The weather's changing in Texas and it affected my son first and then he got everyone in the house sick. Bear with me. But today is day 20 and that brings us Lake Mungo. Here we go. Lake Mungo was released in 2008. Strange things start happening after a girl is found drowned in a lake. That may be the shortest synopsis ever. Chris Stockman posted a review for this a couple years back and his review pretty much sold me immediately. So I checked it out and I, uh, I had never heard of it at the time and I still don't know anyone personally who has also seen this movie. This film's interesting because it's a blend of found footage but it's also like a mockumentary where these are paid actors and the story is not real, but they still set it up like it's an actual documentary. Neither one of these subgenres have a strong track record, but what helps Lake Mungo in this case is that there are really no actors that were cast in this that have been in something previous that I'd seen. Every actor was completely new to me. And I think that allows you to sort of detach from the actor and kind of just become immersed in this story and you can convince yourself that they're actual people. And the acting ability from all of these people just further drive that nail home that you're watching an actual family grieve. The pictures and the videos, all the footage basically that's examined in this film are very distorted, very grainy. They very much have a home video quality to them. The composition of these shots is important because there's a lot of really wide shots. And at first you're just assuming you're looking at a landscape, but the longer you stare, you start to notice things hidden within the frame, not even off to the side, sometimes very central to the frame you're looking at. You almost get like, it, it gives the viewer a sense of investigation, like we're, we're part of this story, we're part of this journey that we're going on. Within the single linear storyline of this family's daughter going missing, the story is able to be flipped on its head more than once. I found myself guessing until the very end and I guarantee that you'll be doing the same thing. Lastly, before I tell you guys where this is streaming, there's a jump scare in this movie and I wouldn't really call it a jump scare, but the camera moves in a certain way and there is an audio cue. This is the only reason I'm calling it a jump scare. But when you see this, and I can't guarantee it's going to affect you the same way it affected me. I have never gotten chills so instantly from a jump scare than I did at the end of this movie. I can't even further articulate why I found it so scary. It's, it's almost not, but the fucking, I'm not going to say anything else, but just, if you check this movie out, get to the end, experience it, and then let me know how it made you feel. I might be a bitch in this instance. I don't know. Uh, if you do decide to check this out, it is streaming for free on, um, Tubi TV. And then it's also available on Sling TV, but you need a premium subscription for that. That'll do it for day 20. I will see y'all back here tomorrow for day 21. Peace.